going to start by putting a 2 to 3 mm tungsten bead on a 1 to 2x long nymph hook. The easy way to do this is by putting the bead in your hand and then bring the hook point to it. The hook I chose is a TMC 3761 in size 16. Put some .010 size lead wire on a bobbin holder and wind on 10 to 14 reps. Then push the lead wire up into the bead to stabilize it. The thread I am using is Vivis 10 odd in olive. Cover over the lead wraps with your thread and create a taper on the hook before bringing your thread back to the bend of the hook. Now pull off three to six strands of pheasant tail fibers. The quantity of strands will depend on your hook size. Pull the fibers parallel to the feather's spine and stroke them up to align the tips, then clip them off at the base. Measure out about a hook shank length and tie it in at the base of the hook. Then pull back the pheasant tail and tie it in at the base of the tail. After making a few tight wraps, then attach some small sized gold wire and bring your thread up to just shy of the bead. Now proceed to wrap your pheasant tail up the hook shank with touching wraps. Do this in the opposite way you tie your thread, however this could be tricky. Once you reach the shy of the bead, about a hook eye size space, then capture the fibers and trim off the waist. Now we will proceed to make even and spaced wraps with your gold wire over the pheasant tail body. Wrap this in the opposite direction of the pheasant tail fibers to make the fly much more durable. Trim a few more strands of pheasant tail. This time you want more than the tail. In this case I'm using six, but six to ten strands depending on your hook size will work. Stroke them up the same way as before and trim off the base. Most people measure out about a hook shank length and tie in. However, I like these a bit longer. If you tie these down tight, you can just break off the waist. Now take a single strand of peacock curl, use two or even three if you're tying a larger bug, and capture the end at the abdomen. Now make touching wraps with the peacock curl up until you reach the bead head. Then capture it and break off the waist. Pull the pheasant tail fibers up and forward over the peacock and tie it in just behind the base of the bead. If you tie it in tightly, it will flare the fibers outward like so, but it helps to separate them a bit into two different sections with your fingers. Use your fingernail to push these fibers rearward and then stroke them down as well. This might take a bit of playing to get them just right. Then tie them down while stroking them rearward and downward. Once they're where you want them, whip finish your fly. To cement the head and to ensure the fibers stay in place, put a drop of head cement on top of the admin and over the whip finish. I like using this UV resin called Bone Dry. Let it soak into the whip finish a little before curing though. And your fly is finished. These are very effective flies and can mimic many different nymph species in the river. Hey, thanks for watching. Check the description section where I listed all the materials I used today. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.